In this video, we will be going over how the partition method works. Just because this method is a little bit strange, I've included the code here for us to look at in case we need to reference it. We begin by assigning the beginning of the array and the end of the array to be low and high respectively. We also will have been provided as input some point which we are partitioning around. In this example, I'm going to say that that is five, but this will be fed to the algorithm as some sort of input. Now, the goal of partition is to rearrange the array in such a way that every element to the left of our partition point will be less than it, and every point to the right of it will be greater than it. We begin by always checking, is the left element less than the pivot? In this case, it's not, so we move on to our next check, which is, is the right element greater than the pivot? Seven is greater than five. So we decrement high by one. We then perform the same check. Nine is still not in the correct position, but 10 is, so we decrement again. We then perform the same check. Nine is still not in the correct position. Neither is two, because two is less than five. So we're going to swap nine and two. We then need to check, are either of those elements equal to our pivot point? No. So what we are going to do is go through it again. We check, is 2 in the correct position? Yes, it is. So we increment low by 1. We check, is 1 in the correct position? It is. So we increment low by 1 again. We check, is 3 in the correct position? It is. So we increment low by 1. We now check, is 5 less than 5? It is not. Is 9 greater than 5? It is. So we decrement high by 1. 5 is still not less than 5 and four is not greater than five, so we must swap those two elements. And it is not the case that both four and five are equal to our pivot point, so we don't do anything extra. We then check, is four less than five? It is, so we increment low by one. And now we've terminated our loop because low is equal to high. Notice that the resulting array is arranged in such a way that all of the elements to the left of five are less than it, and all of the elements to the right of five are greater than it. This ensures that five is now in its correct position in sorted order, even if the other elements around it are not sorted. 